welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today I'm going to make you a special Mediterranean dish. It's full of color, lovely fragrance, and it is white fillet with cherry tomatoes, mushroom, dill, and pepper, and you're gonna love it. and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today we're going to make something really nice and simple and very light and it's going to be fish. It's a Mediterranean dish. It's going to have like nice and lovely basil and tomato and stuff in it. First the fish. That's not plates. That's actually a fish tank right underneath here. And look, voila, it's ready fish. Perfect fish tank that I have. So we're going to start by putting the hob on, this one, put it on, get the oil, put a nice generous amount and I'm going to put some chili flakes with the spoon that I have right here somewhere, just a little bit, like what, half a teaspoon of chili flakes. I'd like to add also some garlic and I'm gonna take the garlic from here from my lovely basket, nice and colorful. Okay, I'll just do it like that. That's a huge knife. That'll do. Okay, so I'll just take one piece off. I hate mess so I'm just going to take it, chuck it in my food bin for recycling always and where is my garlic crusher? There it is, it's my favorite tool in the house, in the kitchen. So put the garlic, this one here is still on the hob and look at that. Where is that knife? Without getting the garlic on the floor. Just push it all in without wasting. Take it all out, every single piece. There. Okay, so here I am just mixing it all up a little bit. And then I'm gonna get vegetable stock instead of salt, because if I put salt, and it's already salty, it's gonna to be too salty. So all I need is just the vegetable tonic, and I just chuck it in. So I'm too lazy to actually add water to it and melt it and all that. Just chuck it all in in the pan, break it up, mix it together. Okay, so I just put that vegetable stuck in there and I break it in the frying pan and mix it together with the chili and the garlic. And I'm gonna put this aside because I don't want it to burn and turn this off instead of putting it back up again. And next thing is I'm gonna get some nice and colorful vegetables to add in. Look at those cherry tomatoes. Aren't they just amazing? I'm going to eat one. Tasty. And I think with the red tomatoes, green pepper would look good. Red, green. We're gonna have some nice variety here of colors to make the food nice and colorful. Just gonna chop it like that without chopping my finger off in stripes and then in half. Take the next. Take the seeds out and I like to chop it from this side because the knife just glides through it otherwise. Oops, there we go. Gonna take some of those cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna cut them in circles. There we go. But it's so nice and sweet and tiny. They look like marbles. 
aren't they nice? So I'm just gonna, like they're so tiny, I'm just gonna chop them in half instead. Because they're too small. And they're so tasty, sweet and sour. There we are. Chop it quickly and add it to the garlic and the chili in the frying pan. Okay. I'm gonna fry it a little bit quickly here. Not too much because I still wanna have the vegetables you know, bit, you know, not, not too overdone. Of course I have to use this thing. There we go. Just mix it up a bit. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna put this other hob on because I wanna fry the fish. All right, so here we are, just mixing that up again and then put in my fish fillets. Is it hot enough? Uh, let's see, just put that hop of it up in that nice olive oil. It's for cooking because you need to put it in cooking olive oil. And here we are, just put it in there and I need my salt. So that's the salt, just to quickly salt it like that. It'll get the flavors from the, from the sauce that we're gonna add it to. But I'd still like to add a little bit of extra stuff, like cumin. Just to give it some extra flavor. And maybe some cumin here too, why not? Cumin is nice. Okay. One last thing is a bit of coriander powder. With my hand, a pinch of it, it's more than enough. Put it back and wait for it to be done. This is almost done. This one I have to put it up a bit because I don't like waiting. So what I'd like to do now is the last ingredient, and I always put it at the end because otherwise it just melts in the pan and I don't like it when it melts in the pan. I like it to look like a mushroom. I don't want it to look like some, I don't know what vegetable. So when someone looks in the plate, they know that there is mushroom in it. Mushroom is really nice. So I just took two mushrooms, medium sized. I'm gonna add them to the vegetables and make them even more colorful. Nice and white in contrast to that green and red. It looks gorgeous. All right, and mix it up a bit. And of course, we cannot have fish without a little bit of dill. And look what I have in the basket. Dill, isn't that a surprise? Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit, chop it all up. like that, add it to I, my, my sauce, the mixture here. I think that's enough, not too much. And I'm going to add at the end a little bit of lemon to make it a bit more Mediterranean-y. That makes it Mediterranean-y. You get what I mean. So, lemon. I like to stab it a bit with the knife to get the juices out. And then I'm going to squeeze a nice two, three squeezes like that. That's it. Mix it together. Doesn't that look nice? It smells good too. And I'm going to add a bit of water. Where is my water? And here is the water. So I'm going to add bottled water. Okay. Just a little bit, maybe like a quarter of a cup. Don't want it to be too liquidy. And just let it simmer a tiny bit, not too long, because we don't want the vegetables to melt. There you go. Gonna check on my fish. So 
turn it over like that. Fish doesn't take too long to cook, that's the nice thing about it. So the whole meal will probably take you like 10 minutes if you have all the ingredients ready. And it's pretty flexible, so if you don't have one of the ingredients, then, you know, it's not the end of the day, it's not the end, you know, the, a big deal, you just, whatever, replace it with something else. But dill and lemon, chili and garlic are the main things that will make it special. So here we are, it's almost done. I'm gonna turn this one off. I think it's done, it looks done to me. All right, I'm gonna clean up quickly. Put this away. I guess I'm cleaning up a bit here. Get rid of that. Get my plate out. Getting ready to eat. So, here we are. Put it there. Nice and juicy, not dry. And it's olive oil, so you don't feel guilty about it. And then I'm gonna add my sauce. Oh my God, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at the mushroom. And here we are. White fish fillet with Mediterranean vegetables.